today's video we've got another moving vlog coming I think this is number three but anyways in this video we're gonna tackle our DIY coffee cart organize the bathroom clean declutter just some more moving stuff you guys seem to really like these vlogs and I'm really really happy that you guys do um, but yeah so it's funny because one of the big things I wanted besides the office when I moved in or when I eventually moved in was a coffee cart I like love the idea of a little coffee station coffee bar whatever you want to call it and we decided to put it off for a while because we had other projects we wanted to do but then today on Facebook marketplace we saw one and then we just messaged them to see if they were negotiable with their price and they were so we snatched her up real quick and she's right here so I'm super excited I want to organize it tonight so that when Matt came home tomorrow morning he could see it all done up so we're gonna do that don't ask me why I had this much energy at 9 p.m. it's because I had a coffee at 6 p.m. do I regret it absolutely but we're gonna make the most of the energy and clean but before we get into the video I just really really quickly wanted to say that I hope you guys never feel pressured when you watch my channel to buy stuff. I know that's a big thing around YouTube is commercialism and hauls, which is why I try and not do a lot of hauls on my channel, just because I don't think the world should revolve around like, oh, what I got in the mail today. If you guys want me to do more hauls, let me know and I would gladly show you guys what I get in the mail, but don't ever want you guys to feel pressured to buy stuff when you watch my channel. Um, but I know a lot of you guys have shown interest in like finances and moving out and budgeting and home decor and like kind of that whole realm of things Which is why I want to show you guys a home decor haul today because it's all from the dollar store and y'all Everyone's sleeping on the dollar store because they've got really cute stuff and on a budget Like I'm telling you I'm about to show you guys everything I got and it was all under 20 It was all under $25, which is absolutely Amazing and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got um, but it, yeah, I just kind of want to say that spiel really quick that I don't ever want you guys to feel pressured watching my videos to buy things I never want to pressure you guys to buy things Which is why I'm really excited to show you guys this like dollar store home decor haul because you guys can get really cute stuff at the dollar store for really cheap and yeah, so what it looks like I think it's from Ikea and if I can find it I'll link it down below but it's like this super nice wood color with white and stainless steel and it's actually really really big um, <laughs> Just a little um freezer there it's actually really really big which is what I like because we'll be able to fit a ton of mugs underneath so it was under $25 I want to say and I got some cute stuff I'm so excited to share with you guys so oh I'm redoing the closet or like organizing the closet which I haven't got to yet which is coming up in a vlog but I want to get hangers um and I saw that they had hangers at the dollar store which is awesome like things like hangers like why do you need to buy expensive hangers please tell me they literally just hang clothes so that being said, I think a 30 pack at Walmart was like $16 and I got 21 for $6. So I just got um, three packs of these. They're like the seven ones. I like the ones with the little divots here because I'm going to do a whole side of the closet just for workout clothes. So I want to be able to put like sports bras and stuff in this. So I just, anyways, I just got three packs of those, which is not really exciting, but it was like exciting to me. Um, then super random, not home decor related, but I had to get dry shampoo and they sell Batiste at my dollar store, which just a disclaimer, I'm pretty sure all Dollaramas are different, but mine sold um, dry shampoo and this is the pretty, this is the oriental one. So I got that. I have no idea what we're going to use it for yet, but I think it goes so well at the coffee table. Like, look, tell me that doesn't match. I think we'll put our like Splendas in here or something, but it's just a super cute little container. I love the wood finish. Super easy to get off. Stainless steel inside. It matches there so well thing but i got more of the sponges this is what we wash the dishes with and there's three of them for a dollar 25 so yes then this was an impulse buy i'm not gonna lie um but it's a little garlic container and we just have our garlic right now in like a plastic baggie but i guess it's supposed to keep it fresh it has holes in it so i thought it was cute so i got it these so these are for the bathroom i wanted wicker baskets for the bathroom and ones that were kind of like long and short literally exactly what i wanted these are 12 dollars at walmart and these were four dollars so i'm really excited about those um i got three of them they're really nice quality honestly and i'm gonna use one for my makeup one for like my skincare and then one for like my hair stuff so those look cute when we do the bathroom tomorrow um what else did i get then I just got this little box. Um, this is not exciting and it's honestly not a cute color at all. But um, I needed a like little memory box for Matt and I's stuff um, because I just have it in like a Ziploc right now, which is kind of ghetto. So I just got this one. It's just like a little box and it has a little magnet thing. And I'm just going to put like all our movie stubs and everything because I keep all that stuff. So chips and stuff. Oh, this is awkward. I don't think these are for chips. I think this is to hang in the laundry. 
but I'm gonna use them too for our chips. So I just got some of those. And yeah, like I said, everything was under $25, which is a steal because the baskets alone at Walmart were $12 each. And like, usually Walmart's pretty good, but this time around, they weren't. So, to give you guys an overview, this is like our little coffee shelf. So we're basically gonna empty these two out and then pretty much empty this like whole area, which I don't know why there's a glass here, but we're gonna empty this whole area and then pretty much most of these um, drawers. So thinking that the first thing we need to move is probably the Keurig. So I don't know where we're gonna put this, but comes the Keurig. I think we're gonna put it in this corner, or do we want it in this corner? Actually, it needs to go in this corner because of the plug. I don't even know what Keurig this is called, but I know it's like the big giant beast one. This, since it matches the theme of the stainless steel so well, my mom got me this, so I don't know where it's from. Putting that like there with all our K cups, which I don't condone Matt's K cupness, okay, but we do recycle them. Up. Okay, I think that looks cute so far, and then I think I might put the frame in the middle or on the right side. I haven't decided yet, but French press and straws, which I don't know where these are gonna go. I think the straws, I don't know. I kind of wanted to keep the French press up here. I think that's gonna be like too much stuff, honestly. Doing something like that, but I don't know if that's too empty. Next, we're going to fill these with mugs or at least start to fill them with mugs and we're gonna have to totally just rearrange the whole kitchen. stay like this but I basically just have like all of our everyday mugs over here and then our to-go mugs and then our like nice mugs I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like this honestly but we'll see I also have a mug rack but I don't know I actually might put like all of our ground coffee and stuff um in there and then just use this for like our French press and stuff and then for the coffee grinds I don't know Did was I just took everything like small out of there I still might get another one of those just to have two and make it look good but I put everything up here for now which I think just suits it better I'm not sure about these but these are just our ground coffee we keep them like an airtight container but normally we have more coffee we're just running out but I feel like this is a good little spot and like I always wonder what we could do with the shelf because it's so small I figured it out. Also, shout out to my coffee boosters. Anyways, I think this is a cute little shelf. Um, so that's done for now. perfectly we have more tupperware but a lot of it's in the freezer but i think that works really good for now until we can find like a permanent home for it but that worked out so perfectly i think it looks so good i love this organizer it's from amazon i'll link it down below wow okay we are just doing great tonight okay and the next thing is i want to take all of our mason jars and move them into um right here because we use them a lot I still have a lot of energy and it's only 9.40, so I want to organize the bathroom, but I'm gonna tell myself to stop and relax for a little bit because I think I need to relax for a hot minute. So we will shall continue this tomorrow and then tomorrow we'll organize the bathroom and then put the sign up for the coffee cart and then we'll take a cute little Instagram picture. So I'm gonna sign off for the night because as much as I wanna organize the whole house right now, I need to just relax, so. I'll talk to you guys in the morning. This is the next day and I just had a Walmart order ready for pickup. Um, I got more, but I'll just show you guys what I got that's kind of related to the coffee cart. So I got another one of these $4 frames, which I love. And then this is the Etsy print that I got that I'm really excited and I'm gonna put that up. And then we're on clearance for like $5. So I got two of them and I thought maybe these would look good in the coffee cart. And if they don't, it's fine because I can just put them in the bathroom. But I like that they have like a lining so that um, it'll hide it because the issue with the ones I have now is that 
they like it's like French press and stuff and so I want to hide it so I think these will hide it really well and you will actually be able to see it so we're gonna go and see what those look like but that's my little Walmart haul So I just changed into this cute little tie-dye shirt. This is the one that my mom and I did last weekend. If you guys watched the video, so cute. I'm just gonna be so fun. We're going to organize the closet. When I moved in, I just kind of put everything in its place and I was like, I'll tackle this one day because I just wanna be officially moved in. And now that I'm officially moved in, I think it's time that we need to tackle the closet. So this might not happen all at once. It might happen over a few days. We'll see how ambitious I get today. But um, the door fell off earlier, so I had to try and fix that. That was really exciting, and I don't even think it's fixed. Matt told me not to touch it, so we're going to be very gentle when we organize. But I'll show you the current state. So this, it's not messy. Um, that's pretty much all my clothes. I've really, really downsized. But it's not sorted. And then, <laughs> I don't want to open this, but this whole side is empty to put stuff in. And then you guys know I have these. They're definitely not organized. And then my two lovely shelves are not organized at all. So we need to do that. I also have this giant pile of clothing I think I'm donating and like it's just it's a hot mess okay outfit though right so I think we're gonna begin by just like refolding everything so I think that's the first step really trying to like marry condo my life but the issue is I just hold on to everything so I've already donated probably half of my clothes when I moved out but I'm gonna try again and donate more i'm gonna try no guarantees but i really want to donate some more stuff so we're gonna go through this pile and if it doesn't bring immediate joy we're getting rid of her so let's fold this and hopefully give some more stuff away so messy so easy because it's like pj shirts pj pants sweaters work pants summer like shorts and then jeans it just gets messy so quick but God, how did my scrub cap get there we'll fix it later okay now that's my giving pile these are shirts that need to be hung up and that's the shirt i sleep in every night so it's organized by like shortest to longest but I still have to figure out what I'm gonna put on that side of the closet right now I just have dresses and like workout sweaters so maybe I'll put all my sweaters over there I don't know what do you guys think do you, or she do, yeah I think I'm gonna put all my sweaters over there I'm just really scared to use it okay let's try and put all my sweaters there Okay, so it is the next day. We have to go downstairs and show you guys what I did with the coffee cart. But it looks really, really good, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm just editing a video right now, and then after we're done, we're gonna go and organize the bathroom, which I'm excited about. And then I think I might tackle the closet. I just wanna hop on and say hi, guys. Um, I've had a pretty rough day. I've had a really bad migraine all day, but I'm feeling better and I have a bit of energy now. So we're gonna tackle the bathroom, show you guys the final result of the coffee cart, and yeah. The finished product for now of the coffee cart. We still have some tweaking to do. I wanna get like a really tiny plant to put here. Um, but this is what it looks like. So this is what the sign looks like. I got this off of Etsy. I will link it down below for you guys if you're interested. Frame is $4 at Walmart, like I said earlier. Um, but this is kind of like what we're gonna go with for now, I think. Um, this is also what we did with the mugs. And then um, these are the containers that I got at Walmart that you guys saw me fill up earlier. I love them because they hide the stuff. Like I didn't want it to be see-through. So I really, really love it. I mean, I wish the wood would match this wood, but like totally not the end of the world. But I love it so, so much. And then we moved the travel mugs out just because we will obviously over time get more mugs. Um, so we're hoping to have a third row of mugs here. But that's kind of what the coffee cart looks like right now. I'm so impressed with how it came out. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted like a minimal top part, which is why I put the French press down there. It is time to organize the bathroom. I'm so excited about it. 
little fit Gymshark cropped hoodie. And then these are just some um, pinkish purple aligns. They're pretty comfy. And yeah, so we got the containers here. I'm in here. I'm probably just going to clean too just because why not? I just like to clean the bathrooms probably like once a week. We do like a big house clean probably every two weeks. But every week I like to clean the kitchen and the bathrooms just because they get dirty. Um, so I might do a quick clean of the bathroom. We'll see. But... So this is currently the state of the cupboard. It's not awful, um, but like mine definitely could be more organized. This is just like our extra stuff and I need to get a container for the cleaning stuff. But let's organize these and then we will like clean up the bathroom. Thing is ready um, we just use like microfiber towels and rags um, we use all method products because you guys know I'm just trying to be a lot cleaner and better about what we use so I keep these ones upstairs they're like mainly bathroom ones so this one is the daily shower spray and then we have the anti-back toilet cleaner this is a foaming bathroom cleaner which is just like a disinfectant and then this is the glass and surface cleaner so these are all the ones that we use upstairs so they stay up here and we're gonna put this in there. I'm at pretty good for now so obviously you guys saw I put them together I just have makeup in this one hair stuff and then random self-care this is where all my skincare is gonna go when I get it I ordered and a bunch of stuff in the ordinary so that'll kind of all go in there when I get it and then we just have our extra stuff and then our cleaning products and then down here I just have a container that literally has just a bunch of random stuff in it I don't have much but it's just gonna live down there so that is the bathroom Organization, I guess. Now that I'm done organizing, I'm just gonna clean super quick. I love cleaning with a podcast, so I'm gonna listen to Katie Bilotti, got my bathroom cleaner, and I'm just gonna like clean up the counters and stuff. So it's a really exciting Thursday night. <laughs> Currently 6.50, just because I'm gonna organize the closet now. <coughs> Cheers. Matt sadly at work, and I was like, you know what? This is the perfect night to sit down, have a glass of vino, listen to a podcast, and organize the freaking closet. So that's what we're gonna do. And step one is to put together the shoe rack. And then I'll tell you guys about all my hopes and dreams for the closet. But first, let's put together the shoe rack. Cheers. Let's organize the closet. I think I might have showed you guys this. This is just the Walmart six tier shoe rack. It was $14. We love and I want something white to match with the closet. So this is the one I got. It took me a hot second to figure out, but once I got it, it was totally easy. They give you like extra, they give you extra things to make it taller if you want, but I don't have that many shoes, so I honestly think the four will be fine. But now we just need to figure out kind of where to put it in the closet. It really fits in there perfectly, like it fits in there perfectly, which is crazy. So that'll be the workout side, and then this is just the regular side, and then I'll kind of have to reach for shoes, but that doesn't really bother me. I have a lot of stuff in the wash right now, but we'll fill it up when I go get it. But basically what I'm going to do is that size is going to be 
It's the sports bras and then t-shirts and like short sleeves. Like I said, a lot of it's in the wash and then long sleeves in jackets. So I'm going to fill in some of the jackets and then we're going to get started on the leggings. And I'm thinking about doing something with this, maybe putting my running shoes up here. is I'm gonna organize my leggings which I'm going to use two I'm gonna have one for prints and one for solids be super minimal so what I did was I did shorts in here which I have a ton in the wash but these are my more of my workout leggings um so like Gymshark, Airy, my Lulu and Movements more of like my workout ones and then these are more of my everyday ones so like obviously my lines basically these are all aligned so that's kind of how I organized it I think that was the best way to do it so um let's put those in the closet and then let's honestly just put all these clothes away update this happened to me last time I tried to fix the closet and it took me an hour to put it back on so let's try and put it back on again the door completely came off I literally had to just take it out because I couldn't open it but this is what it looks like right now it'll obviously look better in the daytime but I've just got all my sports bras and my tank tops and my t-shirts and my long sleeves here and then I have my shoes which I don't have any more right now I want to find a way to hang my medals from here I just need something heavy to weigh it down got that I obviously need to fill up my shoe rack I just like don't own a lot of shoes honestly but got a pair of heels in there I'm just trying to be more minimalistic you know and then um, I've got all my clothes here, which are pretty much organized just by like length right now. Oops, this little Olaf buddy can just go over here with the running stuff. But, um, oh, and this little lemon one. Okay, so it's kind of just like all organized by length right now. It's not organized by color. I'm just not that color coordinated to do that. But it's all organized. The only thing I might have to go through, these are just like all tank tops for the summer. The only thing I might go through is my bras, but you guys don't really want to see that. If you guys enjoyed the vlog, maybe this gave you guys some ideas on some inexpensive home decor that you guys can get at the dollar store. Or if you guys want to do a coffee cart, you totally don't even need to buy a kitchen cart like we did. You can just use whatever you have, an old bookcase, an old shelf, you name it. But I hope this inspired you somehow, even maybe to just clean up your bathroom. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!